Joining us now, what we can expect, Congressman Ted Yoho, Republican from Florida who serves on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. So, Congressman, what do you think actually is realistic uh, and you would like to see to come out of this meeting? What I'd like to see is moving forward with a clear definition of what denuclearization is, what all sides agree. Right now, there's not a clear definition of that. And I think before you move forward, I think you need to have that so that you can work towards that in that goal. Um, you know, and I think it'll build on the previous summit, obviously, with the four pillars, you know, making better relationships, economic development, um, bringing peace to the uh, Korean Peninsula. And then uh, denuclearization, once we define that, and then returning the prisoner of war and missing in, ash, missing in action remains. These are the key cornerstones of the, uh, the four previous pillars. You yeah, talk about the definition of denuclearization. Right. Uh, to uh, Chairman Kim, that means uh, U.S. troops out. That means uh, U.S. does not protect South Korea, Japan, and that region. To us, it means he uh, completely gives up his nuclear weapons and his programs. What do you think? Are the chances Eric, of Kim Jong Un doing, uh, doing that? Eric, you're absolutely right. Um, we have to have that definition. And if we can't have that definition that all sides agree, I don't see how you can go further. And the last thing we want is to go back to where we were, um, where Kim Jong Un was threatening the annihilation of America, sh uh, shooting uh, medium range ballistic missiles over Japan, and threatening Guam and uh, anywhere in the United States he said he could hit. And this is something that we don't want to go back to, though. So Kim Jong Un. The next play is in his hands, and if he chooses wisely, you know, you'll see this prosperity that Vietnam has seen, and I think that's a great place to have the, the summit. You think he really would want that prosperity? I mean, look, here, here's a regime for that, that, that his father and his grandfather, they brutally suppressed, killed and exploited and have uh, imprisoned Absolutely. countless uh, a member of their, uh, numbers of their citizens as well as others. Do you think he really wants to move into the Western style as opposed to just uh, remaining in power? We're going to find out. I mean, after this summit, we'll see what happens. Uh, what you just brought up, there's been three Kims. There's a hierarchy of the lineage that has been there for three generations, and they're looked at as a deity. Um, what Kim Jong-un has in his hand is to change the course of North Korea for the better. And keep in mind that Vietnam, uh, Japan and Germany, these are all countries we had war with. None of them have nuclear weapons, yet they're our largest trading partners. And this is something we hope Kim Jong-un looks at and says, you know what, let's forego the nuclear weapons, let's just work on economies and trade. Um, and I, I hope he sees that when he goes to Vietnam. But, but before he even gets to that, potentially, he, he, they are those who say he has to open up his, uh, his facilities to international inspectors. Absolutely. Close them. To, we don't even know what he has completely uh, because we he don't. hasn't made that list. No, you're, you're absolutely right there. There's got to be that assurance that he's moving earnestly and sincerely forward, but we have to be able to verify. It goes back to what Ronald Reagan said, trust but verify, and we can't go forward unless we have some of these assurances and that we can verify what they're doing so that we can proceed to the next level. And again, the cards are in Kim Jong-un's hand as far as the next one he plays, and if he chooses badly, you know, the sanctions, our goal on the House Foreign Affairs Committee is to make sure that we stand with these sanctions and we hold the administration accountable so that don't, they don't repeat the mistakes of the last uh, three administrations. All right, we'll see if Kim has an ace or a joker. Uh, you, you think it would go this far, <laughs> they get something out of it, so we'll see what happens. Let's hope it's not a joker. Yes, exactly. Congressman Ted Yoho, thank you for your insight as always. Thank you.